Hello everyone, Kekker1000 here back for another video. Today's video we're playing the hit virtual reality movement shooter game Hyperdash. Now, I found a neat little tool on Steam known as Hyperdash Spectator Mode, which is what I will be using for your side of the recording. So with that, settle in, get something ready, and enjoy. Uh, sorry to interrupt folks, but please note the audio on my end does not appear to be working very well, so what I'm just gonna do is do some live commentary over it, uh, after recording everything, so let's do it for real this time. The match is beginning. 9 minutes 50 seconds left on the clock as it appears... Blue team has possession of the ball. Oh, ball bearer has been knocked down. A member of red team is carrying the ball to a uh, blue team's goal. Oh, a miss and a shooting to the death. The member respawns. Kills an enemy. Kills the other ball bearer. Makes a shot and the goal misses. Oh, it dies again before they can throw another shot. Nine minutes are left on the clock as there are no goals in the game right now. A member of blue team is burying the ball, throws it, and gets shot to death. Red team grabs the ball and carries it, it towards blue team's goal. Getting shot from behind. Oh, and the ball bearer gets shot. How unfortunate, folks. Already, it appears that... Blue team has possession of the ball and immediately loses it. Red is not in a great position. Oh, and dies again. The ball is anyone's game. Red team has the ball. Come on. Red team might very well get this goal. But it seems blue might have gotten- Oh, blue got possession of the ball, and red gets shot before they can grab the ball. Ball is still in play. No one has- Oh, blue has possession of the ball, throws it, and misses. Red has possession of the ball and carries it towards blue team's base. It appears a member of red team is trying to guard uh, the ball bearer, but is successful. They're surviving. Oh, the ball bearer gets shot to death. Seven minutes, 20 seconds left on the clock, folks. This could be anyone's game. Red team has the possession of the ball, throws it. And gets it again. Seven minutes remaining. Come on. It appears the ball missed the goal. Oh. The ball bearer shoots someone trying to get the ball. This is such a tense game, I can't commentate much. Member of red team goes for the ball on a grind rail. Kills an opponent, gets a stamina boost, goes on another grind rail towards the ball, and lands in a pit with three blue team members killing one and getting killed by another. How unfortunate. However, it seems this fierce fighter is not letting up as red team has possession of the ball and is carrying it towards blue team's base. The ball is dropped and dropped again after being thrown. Red team tries to grab the ball and successfully scores! One point for red team. One, two, zero. Resetting. Five minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Still anyone's game. But red team appears to be currently in the lead. 
Bull gains possession of the ball at the start of the match, drops it, Red gets possession of the ball again, makes an immediate rush towards Blue Team's goal, and makes it in 0 or 2-0. to zero. And a member of Red Team gets shot in the head before reset. Five minutes are left on the clock. Two to zero. This is most likely going to favor red team this game. Blue gets possession of the ball first. Makes an immediate play for the goal. Ambushes red at their own base. Carries the ball towards red team's goal. And it appears blue team might score. But no. Blue team's ball bearer has been shot. And red team is currently in possession of the ball. The ball bearer is currently being guarded by, it appears, two red team members. The ball bearer is shot to death by three blue team. This match just might favor red team uh, at the immediate moment. However, it might turn out to favor blue team as blue team approaches with the ball to the goal and misses. However, a red team member catches the ball, throws it somewhere, lands into the middle of the arena, and it appears blue team has the ball right now. Red team fails to get the ball from blue team. Blue team approaches red team's goal. The ball bearer drops the ball. It's just sitting there while two blue team members just run straight past it. Blue team gets the ball. Ambushes one red team member with all of their forces and advances towards red team's goal They missed I don't even know what they were trying to hit uh, blue team ambushes the ball bearer Gets the ball advances towards red team's goal From below and it appears to be an attempted friendly fire on two red team members by one red team member. Two ball bearers try to grab it, however fail, as a red team member brings it to the blue team goal and attempts to go for a stamina boost. Tries to weave out of the way, misses the shot on the goal. Blue team carries it relentlessly towards red team's goal with two minutes left on the clock. This is such a tense game. This could be anyone's. Blue team has the ball, loses it. Uh, red team grabs the ball for five frames and drops it immediately. One minute, 30 seconds left on the clock, and it appears blue team is ambushing red team's goal. Our uh, camera surveillance system cut out there for a second. It must have been a uh, lag, must have been a few uh, ping spikes. One minute, 15 seconds left on the clock. Can blue pull around and make it? Blue team makes one goal, two to one. Red is still in the lead, however, blue team has one minute left on the clock to change around the entire course of the game. Can they pull it off? Well, we'll just have to see. Blue team throws the ball towards red team's base. A red team member manages to kill two blue forces after being ambushed by one. Or er, before being ambushed by one. Blue team throws the ball towards red team's base. Blue team gets another goal. It is a tie game with 20 seconds left on the clock. 2-2. Two two. Can red team make a goal or will blue team prevail after all? The underdog story of blue team might be this game. Blue team gets possession of the ball, runs towards red team's goal with 5 seconds left on the clock. It appears the game has entered into overtime. Blue team drops the ball. However, there are five minutes left on the clock for overtime. Whoever makes the next goal wins the entire round. 
This is the tensest round of them all. Two to two. Whoever loses, loses for good. Red team appears to be carrying the ball towards blue team's base. Can they make a shot? Red wins! Red team manages to make one goal into blue team's goal, which allows them to win during overtime. It appears to be a tense game with unexpected ending, favoring red team. And it appears the MVP of this round is player CatGamer1000. Congratulations, everyone in the championship. And we are switching over to his perspective, showing off the trophy. Relatively simple game mode, however, with the complexity these two teams appear to be offering from the last matchup, this might turn out to be a very tense and very exciting round. Preparation times are over in a few seconds. And appears the game has started. Blue team is immediately uh, rushing to prepare up ahead to exterminate some red forces. However, they appear to be facing some backlash from red's forces. But it appears four people, no, now two people on the payload have managed to kill the one rusher. Red team appears to be rail grinding right now towards the payload with one person, no, two people on it. And the red and the red member only appears to kill one of those two people. The shielder still is standing there. Blue has almost reached the first checkpoint before they have to go and make sure they can reach the goal. Blue is at a incredibly long standstill and has been for a few minutes. With only 3 minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock, Blue has to take it around and make sure they can push all the way to the goal, otherwise Red will have an easy victory next round. Blue is appearing to be in a absolute frenzy, attempting to get the payload as far as they humanly can. They have a 6 minute and 30 second boost for reaching the checkpoint. This match has just been extended a whole lot more. However, my throat's getting a bit sore from speaking a lot. So what I'm going to do is take a quick water break. And we're back. Red team appears to be approaching blue team's payload. Red team has a rocket launcher in play as it reaches the six minute mark. It is an all out frenzy on the battlefield. Blue Team's payload has reached the uphill point. It's an uphill battle from here, quite literally. With three and a half minutes left on the clock, Blue has to turn this around, otherwise this will be a victory for Red Team. The entirety of Blue Team is rushing to help the payload succeed. Red Team is also going full relentless in the last minute of the match to make sure Blue Team will not progress any further than they have at this point. However, Blue Team appears to be equally as relentless and equally as hungry for victory. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Red Team has won this round. However, it's not over yet. Red Team is switching to Blue Team and has to push the payload all the way that Blue Team has made it. Blue team has seven and a half minutes left to get 20% of the map to red team's position. They can almost smell the goal. Red team is not letting blue team win this match at all. However, blue team is not letting red step and stomp on their hopes and dreams of victory. There is 16% remaining. Blue team has six and a half minutes to go that far. It seems almost impossible for blue team to lose. However, we've seen what happens in this game. Both of these teams are incredibly relentless and incredibly hungry for victory. And they will do anything to make sure they succeed. Blue team has 10% left and, and 
five and a half minutes to succeed. However, Red Team is not letting up at all. In fact, they appear to be fighting fiercer than they ever have. The uphill point was a challenge for both Red and Blue Team. However, Blue Team appears to be attempting to push as hard as they can with fifth... 5 minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. Blue team is pushing with 6% left until they succeed with their victory. With 3 minutes, that appears to be an incredibly viable goal. Blue team has barely made any progress and, it, and there are 2 minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Blue Team might just fail in this attempt after all. Blue Team is finally pushing the payload with 3% remaining until they succeed with their unlikely goal of victory. A member of Red Team ha appears to have crashed into the front of the payload with only 1 minute and 15 seconds left on the clock until they lose it all. 1 minute and 10 seconds left. This is probably the tensest part of the match. One minute remaining. With only 2% left until Blue Team succeeds with their unimaginable goal. Forty-five seconds remain. Red Team appears to have reached the payload. 85. There is a chance that Blue Team can push this around in the last 30 seconds of the match. Twenty seconds remain. With only less than 1% of the neck left. 10. There is so little distance left that it would be a shame if they lost, which appears to be what has happened. Blue team can just see the goal right in front of them. Hello everyone, this is post-recording me. Uh, I'm currently editing the video as I speak. However, this is a new type of content. Maybe y'all want to see some more spectator mode content. I just go into random lobbies and commentate on what it is happening with more, you know, visual aspect. Not just spectating first person mode for one player the entire time. Anyways, I'm out of here.